Several local art studios were destroyed this morning in a fire. Arson investigators are on scene trying to determine the cause of the blaze. The building was home to several local artists and even a local production studio. The problem some of them did not have, or the problem is that some of them did not have insurance. Anieli Ruiz joins us live from Sawyer Yards. This is near Sawyer Street and I-10. Anieli? Well, hey guys, they tell us that it all started here in this building behind me. You can see crews are actually working on repairing some of the damage. They tell us this is home to over 50 artists and you can see the damage left behind. These were actually garage doors just mangled up. Some of the equipment completely destroyed. According to investigators, the fire started here at around 630 this morning. They believe it started at this production studio called Studio Bohemian. The owner, Jack Potts, tells us he was here working late last night this morning. Morning, he got a call from a neighbor letting him know his studio was on fire and unfortunately Jack tells us he did not have insurance and now his 30 year business was destroyed by the flames and so were many other business owners here. Every kind of art, every kind of art. I don't have anything right now and I don't have any way to um to, to make money so so it's a difficult place to figure out. It's just all of our art is in there. All of our paintings. It's like my whole, my whole, all my work is in there. And then I just feel horrible. We just hung two new exhibitions. Many of the artists here tell us they stored all of their work here. Fortunately, nobody was injured here, but investigators are still trying to determine what started the blaze. Now, Jack and some of the tenants here tell us that they heard that there was an explosion here that caused for the structure to be unsafe. They're not allowed to go inside at this time, um, but investigators are still trying to piece together what happened here. Now, we do know that they're going to they're planning on hosting several fundraisers and GoFundMe accounts. For more information, you can head to our website at khou.com. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.